Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming an anti-haul and I'm so excited because I feel like it's been forever since I sat down and roasted some makeup. So let's go ahead and chat ugly makeup coming right up. I did film this look, it should be up already. This is with the new Odin's Eye collection. So if you wanna check that out, I will link it in the description box for you guys. Okay, we're gonna start off with something I want, but we're gonna say no because I looked at my bank account. So this is the new Gradient Highlighters from Hindash. This is a hybrid gel powder highlighter formula that mimics pure light on skin for a sheer glow to the ultimate shimmer fantasy. This transparent structure features pearlescent pigments in their purest form, layers up for maximum shimmer dimension on the face, eyes, and body. <sighs> I still want it. I saw this on the Beautylish website today and yeah i put it in my cart and then i was like no i don't need it but it's so pretty i have one of hindash's palettes i've never tried it i have it i think in my like bin of shame of palettes i've never tried but yeah something about this is so pretty i did just buy the gucci highlighter though so i'm okay and i also bought the new hourglass holiday palette so I'm really, really okay. Next, we have the Too Faced Holiday Collection. I feel like this is an easy no because it's so reminiscent of when I started watching YouTube. And it's kind of fun that they're still doing holiday collections, but not a lot has changed. I mean, it's not very ingenious the shades are very rinse and repeat they tried a little bit with the packaging but it's really not hitting it's like a bevel packaging so it's supposed to look like jewels but i feel like it would just get clunky and hard to store after some time so yeah overall i feel like this you could definitely get for a lot cheaper and probably even better quality if you just looked at brands like ColourPop or Juvia's Place or even some of the more affordable indie brands. So it's an easy pass for me. Fenty Beauty launched a solid version of their fragrance. And this is the Power of Fenty Perfume in the palm of your hand. I've never really tried a solid fragrance, so I don't really know how that works. But this is a raw yet warm floral yet spicy melts in, radiates out, effortlessly attracts in a weighted jewel-like compact to carry everywhere. So at $68, which is nice because I believe the full-size Fenty fragrance is quite pricey. I think I've smelt it because I was so curious and I didn't think it was for me. So I'm okay. I don't need a solid version either, but... It is an option if you want to smell like Rihanna, I suppose. Okay, so we have the Beetlejuice collection from NYX. And I think I saw a little bit of this at Ulta. And I did watch some videos on this collection. I think it's so cute. And if you love the movie, I totally get it. I will say the one thing I was curious about was the blush palette. And I saw that in person. And it is so tiny. Like... Yeah, it looks tiny, but it's so tiny. It's literally the size of a credit card, and it's thin too. So, I mean, it's probably great for travel if you want to take it with you because it's not going to take up a lot of space. But other than that, it is a quick skip for me. We have the new concealer from Westman Atelier. I really want to try this brand, but I don't really know where to start, and I don't know that a concealer is it. But it is available now on the Sephora website, and I did go ahead and skip on it. Another Halloween collection, I definitely saw this one at Walmart as well. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas collection from Wet n Wild. And this palette is also very small. It's kind of like the size of a CD. You youngins might not know what I'm talking about, but it was a lot smaller than I thought. I feel like I remember Wet n Wild palettes being a little bit bigger. Overall, it's very cute, but it definitely looks a little bit cheaper than, you know, makeup they sell at Sephora, which makes sense because it's a drugstore brand. But I don't know. I was just not sold. And I don't know that I'm going to be reviewing a lot of drugstore makeup at this time. If something catches my eye, of course I will. But I'm not really feeling it, so I did skip it. 
Now you guys know I love the movie Mean Girls and they did a round two with Makeup Revolution. I feel like I saw this collection at Ulta actually. I don't go to Ulta a lot ever really in person but I think I saw this collection at Ulta when I ran in quickly and I bought the first collaboration palette they did with Mean Girls which was a big rainbow palette and I never used it. I literally just decluttered it the other day so Clearly I have no business picking this up and it's an easy skip for me. We also have another Halloween collection from the drugstore. This is Profusion and Profusion is probably my favorite brand of the three Halloween collections we've discussed so far. But again, I just don't need it. It's a cute grungy palette. I love the orange packaging. I did see people had posted on this collection and if you're looking for reviews, I'm sure it's out there, but I think it's very on theme. It's just an easy skip for me. We have another product that I'm a little bit curious about. This is the Volumizing Tinted Brow Gel from ABH. It's a lightweight buildable gel that tints and adds volume to your brows for a natural long wearing finish. Soft mousse like texture and precision brush easily covers each hair, gives brows natural fullness and definition in nine shades. So this sounds like the Benefit My Brow, I think is what that product was called. I feel like that was so hyped for so long and now I can't even remember the name of the product. But basically that product had little fibers in it. So it did let you kind of like give your brows extensions. I used to use it. I haven't bought one in a while. I'm just using clear brow gel right now and also just filling in my brows a little bit with brow powder. I don't know, I love really thick brows. That's just always been a thing for me. So yeah, anyways, this product definitely has my interest, but I'm just not on the market for a brow product right now, so it is a pass. This is so cute. Rare Beauty launched a collection in collaboration with Only Murders in the Building, which is a TV show that Selena Gomez is in. And it's a cute show. It's about like this building in New York and how they solve a true crime case and all the stuff. So it's pretty adorable and the characters are very sweet and Selena Gomez is one of the main characters. So this is themed after Mabel, that's her character. And there's also this cute mini tote keychain, which I actually just got one because they sent me their holiday sets. So I'm so excited to have the keychain because I didn't get any PR with the little bitty keychain tote in it until I just got it. So I'm so excited. I would love to get my hands on this duo, but I also really don't need it because I have a lot of Rare Beauties products. So I am going to skip it, but it is very cute. Okay, so we have more things from Makeup by Mario. And I feel like Makeup by Mario's line should be such a hit, but a lot of the products I've tried from him are like okay or I kind of wish I hadn't spent the money and I really need another powder like I need a hole in my head and the same for setting spray so I did skip this but it is the Surreal Soft Blur Setting Powder and the Surreal Soft Setting Spray. One retails for 38 and one retails for 34 I just got the Urban Decay all-nighter hydrating version and I love that and I have the one size setting spray like I have a significant amount of setting sprays and you think it's not that hard to use up a setting spray but it is it is it takes some time so I am not planning on picking that up or the powder because I also have a ton of powder takes me a long time to finish up powder too, so I'm skipping both of those. We have a Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and a Lip Glowy Balm for the holidays, and this is a peppermint flavor. I think I picked this up last year already, but they, oh, it's candy cane. Sorry, my bad. So I'm pretty sure I already have this, but they tweaked it a little bit so it looks extra Christmassy, and they added a little swirl, and it's cute. And it's adorable and I think it'll make a good stocking stuffer, but I'm going to skip it. We also have from Victoria Beckham Beauty, this is the concealer. And it's a high performance double impact formula that gives you second skin light to medium coverage that immediately perfects while proprietary skincare actives improve your complexion in four weeks. So we all know Victoria Beckham is so beautiful and I have not tried anything from her makeup line but 
I don't need it and I'm not gonna buy it so I'm skipping it we have this product which honestly I don't know if anybody even bought it because all of these blush shades are so muted I really would like to know what's going on with Kelly Ray like did they actually do well because this is the lady that created Urban Decay you think that Coming from Urban Decay, you would want to bring that magic back because we're all just waiting for Urban Decay to do like a Vice palette and that's not going to happen because Wendy doesn't work there anymore. But she goes on to start this brand Cali Ray and it's more like California effortless chic and we just don't need that Wendy, okay? We have Tower 28 for that. I need you to bring back old Urban Decay vibes, okay? So if she's watching... She's on notice. Okay, we have a new concealer from MAC, and this is their Radiance 24-Hour Luminous Lift Concealer. I don't know if anybody's tried this, but the word luminous for my under eyes is like a little bit scary because I don't really want my under eyes to look dewy. I want them to look hydrated, but I feel like I have concealers that do that already, so it's kind of scary when concealers say luminous. So. That's like a red flag for me. I'm going to go ahead and say skip on that. Okay, this one is a very unpopular opinion, but I've said it already and I haven't gotten canceled yet, but I just don't get the hype with the way Scent Bart's fragrance. I feel like it's way too sunscreeny and I bought the body spray and I low-key regret it, but I missed the return window. So I can't like send it back. So it's just sitting in my bin of doom. But I think I might have my mom try it maybe. Either which way, they're coming out with a hair oil. So for obvious reasons, I'm going to pass on it. Okay, so we have a iconic lipstick line created by Dolly Parton. And I guess she launched her own makeup line called Dolly Beauty. So I'm very excited to see everything that she does. But the first launch are these new Heaven's Kiss lipsticks. We've got four different shades, $20 each, and they're so cute. They're Jolene, Red Honey, Plum, Rosebud, and Birthday Suit. So super cute. I don't think any of these shades are immediately gripping my attention. And your girl needs very little excuses to skip something, especially when it comes to lip products. So I did go ahead and pass on it, but I got my eye on Dolly Beauty. I am excited to see what she does. And then we have cream bronzers from Dominique Cosmetics. I was looking at these today and oh my goodness, I wanted to get one because I was on the Beautylish website and they carry Dominique Cosmetics. But tell me why, and I didn't want to look harder, but tell me why brands don't include a picture of their bronzers like I just want to see them swatch on an arm next to each other so I can decide like which shade do I need and like how helpful is it when you have five shades of bronzer and when you click on each shade you just show me a swatch in comparison to the white background of the website like that tells me nothing other than like Maybe guessing like, oh, that's the darkest shade. This is the middle shade between dark and medium. And then there's a middle shade between light and medium. And then there's a light shade. But it's so helpful to see that gradient, at least for me. It's even more helpful if you have multiple arms showing the gradient. But I was so annoyed. So yeah, they did not get my money. And it's like, why are brands still trying to figure that out? And you're an influencer. Like, Hopefully you shop, like hopefully you still shop and you look at other websites and you look at other brands and you're like in the know-how of these things, but apparently it's not that obvious that you should have a gradient of swatches when you launch a bronzer and you only have five shades. So yeah, they're not getting my money. Okay, this I really want, but I'm so lazy when it comes to serum. So this is the Glow a Recipe Blackberry Retinol Blemish Serum, and it's a blemish and texture remedy skin reset. I will say I don't really have a lot of blemishes, so I probably don't need this, but I love Glow Recipe, and I did get a sample of this, so it's coming in my next Sephora order, so I'll probably try it, but for now, it is a skip. Okay, so House Labs released the Clear Cut Liquid Eyeliner, and... It says it took them two years to develop this eyeliner, so 
Somebody better try it, but <laughs> I don't need a liquid liner. I do have like a couple. I have the Rare Beauty one that I use if I ever feel like I want to do a wing, but that's just something I don't do as much, so it is a pass for me. I don't know if I saw anybody reviewing the contour sticks and foundations from Dior, but I decided to go ahead and skip them, even though I do love a stick foundation and I also think the bronzers sound fun but again when I looked at the shades I was a little bit unsure of which one to get from these four shades light was a little too cool tone tan looks promising but on the hand that would be my skin tone I feel like it's just too close to the person's skin tone medium's a little too cool tone and then deep is like very very deep so yeah I skipped on the bronzer contour product and I skipped on the foundation stick as well I feel like they could definitely add more shades there because there's definitely some holes I don't usually talk about hair care but Blake Lively did launch her hair care line and this is something that she spent seven years creating so there were a few products that they launched and I was definitely curious, but when I went to Target, I think there was maybe like one product sitting on the shelf, and I didn't want it enough to buy anything, so I did skip it, but I'm definitely curious because she does have beautiful hair, and I'm excited. If you guys have tried the hairline, I would love to hear your thoughts, but it is a skip for me. I hope this video brightened your day up at least a little bit. And if you're on a no buy or a low buy this year or this week or this month, <laughs> let me just sing the Friends theme song. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just cracked myself up. Anyway, if you're on a low buy or a no buy, I hope this video helped you stay a little strong. I know I don't usually talk about indie brands in this video because I don't want to roast a small business, but anything on trend mode I feel like is fair game. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a great rest of your day and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye!